there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and if this is your first time visiting then do just take a quick minute to subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up to date with all of my other videos and tutorials. So you may remember last week I shared with you a new yarn purchase which was this Ice Yarns Picasso Rainbow Yarn which was beautiful and had lots of lovely comments on from people that had used it and things. So as I said, I was going to share what I decided to make. Now the problem is, is that I've started two different blankets with it and I can't decide which one to carry on with. So I've used one ball and started with these two blankets. So I can't decide whether to carry on with just one of them or whether to carry on with both regardless and just go with both of them but I just wanted to know what you thought. One of them is a pattern that's already on my channel and the other is um, not. <laughs> so we'll start with, oh it's a bit screwed up. <laughs> so we'll start with this one. So this is the start of a granny merge blanket. So this is, as I say, um, quite a popular video actually. It was more popular than I expected it to be. And I've seen some really beautiful blankets made up from this pattern, one of which was actually this yarn. And it worked up so amazing. And it almost looked quite psychedelic, you know, it was really a bit of a mind bender and I absolutely loved it. So I've started the granny merge, as you can see, and that's what that's looking like so far. You can see that the yarn has got a beautiful sheen to it as well. So it's been really nice to work with, actually. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like to work with because of the fluffy aspect of it, if you remember me mentioning that. And I also thought that I would use a four millimeter with it rather than the recommended five millimeter but I have gone with the five millimeter because it, it does need it. I tried it with the four and it was just a little too catchy and a little bit too stiff, but working with the five millimeter has been absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna do a close up here for you to see of the yarn in the pattern. So it looks really, really nice there. And then secondly, we have got this one which as I say it's not a tutorial that is currently on my channel so if it is something that you think I should carry on with and do a tutorial for then I will be more than happy to do that and also maybe doing this particular baby blanket size as a written pattern as well because it's a super super easy one row repeat as well so it would only be a really short pattern and video but if it is something that you think you would like then do leave a comment down below. So this is the other blanket pattern. So again, like I say, it's really simple. It's a one row repeat and I'm really liking how it works up. It's just so super bright, this yarn. And the color change is quite short, so you do get a really nice effect. Obviously you don't get a gradient effect like you do when there's really slow color changes. But I do really like it. It's really mermaidy and bright, and I just absolutely love it. So, as I say, this would be one that would need to be a new tutorial for the channel and also a written pattern as well. So, just yeah, let me know what you think. Do I carry on with this one, which will be an iris blanket? So, do I carry on with the iris blanket and do it as a written pattern in tutorial? Or do I carry on with the Granny Merge, which is already a video tutorial? Or do I go all out and carry on and just complete both anyway? Because I've got plenty of the yarn, I've got 16 balls of it, so more than enough to do these as two full-size projects. So yeah, I've totally rambled there, but let me know in the comments what you think. Do I do the Iris Blanket, the Granny Merge Blanket, or do both and if I do do the iris blanket would you like that as a written pattern as well um yeah there you go let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you for another video really soon bye for now